I'm a plant pathologist and that means that I work with plants that are sick because like humans, plants can get sick too. We're here in the greenhouse uh, in SLU, the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences in the Department of Plant Protection and Plant Breeding, where my research is located. It's actually estimated that globally between 30 and 50% of all crops are lost to disease. If we could cut down this measure or eradicate diseases completely in our, in our top food crops, we would have much, much more resources to feed the world. We would be able to use the same land that we have now, but in a more sustainable manner. Um, we would use less chemicals, which would have, of course, a very beneficial impact on the environment. Um, and importantly, we would provide food for malnourished people all over the world. And here we have a very unique opportunity to work between um, molecular lab right till field work and, and work out with the farmers and communicate with the end users of uh, agricultural products. This is, this, this is GFP? This is GFP. There are sort of two main aspects to our research. One of the things we're trying to do is make almost like plant vaccines or improve the tolerance or the resistance of plants to diseases, for example potato against late blight. And the other thing is that we're trying to use a biocontrol agent uh, to to combat the disease that way. It's very important that we come up with new, new ways to combat diseases in agriculture because the, the world's population is growing exponentially. We need to understand um, or predict what will happen with these things in the, in the future in different climates. Um, and we, we desperately need to, to come up with ways that will um, feed people uh, without harming the environment. You have to be very patient and, and a lot of these things take a long time, especially with biological organisms. So we plan for the long, long haul and we, we have a, a four or five year plan right now for, for this research, which we hope to extend um, again in the future. But we need to do at least three years work before we can really make good conclusions from our data in the field. The future is green, I think. The dream is really to find sustainable and, and biological mechanisms to control diseases. We can grow potatoes organically, for example, which is so difficult right now because of disease. Um, and that we can just have a positive impact on the environment and a positive impact on um, uh, humanity. Mm -hmm.